Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, you? I'm good, and you? All right, let's wait for people to join. <laughs> Hi, Wani. Hi. Okay, is Anto here? Perfect. Okay. Did you invite Anto? Yeah, I'm waiting for him. Yeah. Okay. Is he in here? Uh, yeah, I think he is. Okay. We'll see. Okay, well, till he comes. <laughs> okay, let's introduce ourselves till Anto comes. Hi, I'm Tamar Khashkashian. Hi, I'm Maya Daftian. Hi, I, ooh, my name is Carolyn Dekabella. <laughs> okay, and we're um, students from SEC4B. So um, this is a big project uh, we're working on. Uh, the entire secondary four of Surpagop. We're basically um, raising awareness on mental health, about mental health. Um, it's very important since because of the pandemic and just in general, um, it's been really hard for the students at Surpago and every student in general. So we're trying to uplift the the environment at school for our secondary students. Um, so we've organized the games. These lives are helping. And yeah, I'll leave it to Mane if she wants to talk about the lives. Yeah, so basically uh, the lives, the Instagram lives are a big par uh, part of this project. So basically what we decided to do is we're going to do a live every day for this whole week. And basically every night from 8 to 8.30, uh, except for Wednesday, which is going to be from 8.30 to 9, we're going to do an Instagram live and we're going to have like a special guest every day. And we're just going to have conversations, discussions, about um, topics that are related to mental health, like um, anxiety, um, relationships, friendships, motivation, like everything. Um, yeah, and the four guests are going to be uh, Jano Zabakcian, Miss Jessica Margoyan, Miss Alik Bulgarian, and uh, Miss Lara Naim. So most of you probably already know them. Yeah. And yeah, uh, Kiona, you can talk about the escape room part. Yeah, so um, if you guys are at our school, um, for the sec ones and the sec twos mostly, we're doing an escape room. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. And we started this escape room because um, it's about the mental health. And we decided to do it as like representing as like a brain. So there's like four parts. And the four parts are, like, considered uh, the parts of the brain. So it's really fun. And um, we worked a lot on it. It's been, like, yeah. a hectic, like, a few yeah. weeks. To... Mostly that it's, like, online and school. It's, like, yeah. we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I wish, like, we could have done, like, more. We could have had more time to figure it out. But it's fine. We're... We're working. Yeah, we're really, doing really great. Yeah. We are. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we started today and I think it went pretty well. I yeah. hope so. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna continue the escape room for sure. And I think right now we'll give you like some hints so that you could like be more prepared about it because like I wasn't really prepared today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Tom really good. Do you want to yeah. explain, like, how we uh, started the project, like, initially? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, initially, uh, Mr. Lu, our English teacher, gave us, divided us into groups. We were, like, three, four each group. Um, we all had a, diff a certain topic on mental health. Uh, and we, ha we, ha we made Instagram accounts. We posted about it. We tried to raise awareness. And... The phase two of this project was basically the entire class to come together and come up with ideas to 
raise awareness about generally mental health to the secondary of Surpagop. And it's pretty, it's going pretty well. We came up with, we brainstormed a lot of ideas and we came down to the escape rooms and for social media, we were doing the lives as Mane mentioned every week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, that's, and you got, if you guys have questions, you can like write it down in the comments section. And yeah, yeah. We would basically love- that's it. We really want to uplift the energy and make um, make all the students like try to be happy, you know, that yeah. they're coming to school. Especially, always, yeah. Especially during the pandemic, like um, people need like motivation and stuff. So we're just exactly. kind of trying to help. Um, like it's been teenagers. really hard and hard on everybody. So we're trying our best to you know change the mood. Yeah. Oh, and um, also, uh, do you want to talk about the like the game activities that the other yeah, class? Yeah, yeah, because it's not only our class. There's another class as well, uh, the Sec Four A's. Uh, they're also working on a lot of activities that are soon to come, um, like game shows, uh, video games, and like just dance. I know you you probably all are all familiar with it, so it's gonna be really fun. They're really working on it and. We really just want to change the mood, you know, yeah. <laughs> and make it fun. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically. So if you guys have any questions. Um... I could add someone from the other class to talk about their stuff. Yeah, sure. Wait. I think Ottoman is in here. I'll, I'll invite Mehdi. Sure. Yeah. she's coming let's see if she can come you can try Ottoman. i think he's in here wait i invited her let's see if she can come in oh anto's here <laughs> hey <laughs> finally okay wait well i can do I'm trying. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Wait. It's it's max four, so you can't add both of them. Yeah. I'm still writing, like waiting for Mary, so I have to wait till it like, oh. or she joins, or she like doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, we're gonna have lives every day. Okay, uh, you guys should make a collaborative playlist on Spotify. Top. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. I really like that. Good. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, we can actually work on that. Write this down. Wait. We can. Yeah. Okay. I'm waiting for Anto. Okay. Let's see if he can come in. Anyways. Oh, perfect. Anto. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> yep. Hi. I disappear. Hey. <laughs> So, um, we technically went over it. You want to, like, share your thoughts and on it? Uh, the project? Yeah. Okay, so basically, um, the project was fun to make, first of all. Yeah. And uh, the whole point of it uh, was to raise awareness, as they already probably said. And... Um, Right now, I'm thinking uh, things are going great. Um, everyone's having fun. Everyone's doing stuff. Well, uh, about the escape room, escape room's looking good. We're having a bit, like a bit of technical problems, but besides that, not much. I mean, the school Wi-Fi is backstabbing us right now, but <laughs> uh, we're trying to do stuff about it. But uh, everything's going well, and uh, everyone. Is having fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it's, you know, the pandemic. We have COVID rules. We can't really interact yeah. with the other classes. So, it's it's kind of like a challenge for us to, to prepare yeah. these activities. There's so many, like, rules. We can't go. We have to go ask the principal. There's yeah. it's, a, it's a long process. And I'm actually really proud of us. Like, 
we've been really doing a good job. Uh, yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard work. Yeah. It is. It, we did good. We did good. Anto was uh, a big part of the escape room. He really did a good job today. So, Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it was, to be honest, for our first time, it was a good success. It, it, yeah. was, it was pretty good. We just need to figure out the iPads next time to be better. But yeah. yeah. For sure, more improvements, but it's fine. Let's yeah. It our first time. Of course. Yeah. Next yeah. one is Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be Wednesday. It's going to be the Sec 1 Bs. So if you're watching and you're a Sec 1, get ready. Get ready. Because <laughs> you're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually fun. Yeah. It is. You just need to think. You just need to work with your brains, work together, think. Yeah, as Kiona mentioned, the escape room is divided into four. And if you didn't know, the brain is divided into four lobes, which I didn't know about till like today or like yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. They were really creative on that part. So yeah, good job. And the, the whole point is basically like, to work together, help each other. Yeah, exactly. The entire escape room idea was to 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 see everyone like come together, use their knowledge, and also it's to work under stress because they only have thirty minutes and they need to like rush. Yeah. So by yeah. helping each other and being under that thirty minutes stress, it kind of you know gives a challenge. Yeah. But the point is not to rush people exactly. uh, and make them stress. It's make it's to make them know how to yeah. deal under stress and uh, know how to deal well and efficiently yeah. with situations like such. Exactly. It's it's a good experience. Yeah. It was. It's, yeah. Like in the future, you always need to have like that adapt the uh, adapt. Like you need to adapt uh, to stress. To yeah. Adapt, yeah. Yeah, I'm really hoping we do more of these activities like throughout till the end of the year. It's it's really something like students really want, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not that fun, you know, because COVID, you can't be with your friends from the other class. So activities like this can like really change the mood, the energy. So yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just saying for like SHTV, we're having other stuff that are coming up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, follow SHTV too because there's a lot of stories coming. What are your advice for people going through tough times during this pandemic? Okay, Harag. We're um, gonna we're gonna talk about that during the live. So yeah, we are it. we are, but we can still talk. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Um, what advice would I give to people going through the tough times? Honestly, keep your head up. It's for hard for everybody. Just keep your head up. We're all going through it. We're going through it together. Like, talk about it to someone. You know, like, because you're not alone. So like, exactly, you're not alone. People yeah. are gonna relate to it. It's you really just you need to look at the positive side of things. And just try to be as positive as you can because it's like, it's it's not easy. I can admit it. I, like, school isn't easy. You know, just, you have to try your best. Yeah. No, but for sure, like, the pandemic made us, like, less motivated. And, like, yeah, yeah for hard. sure. Yeah, so, um, but everything that we are, like, doing is, like, it's achievable, you know, like you still need to yeah. continue and you still need to like strive because like anyone could do it. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. For Sara who asked, um, what would you tell someone with anxiety? Honestly, you can't really tell people to do stuff and to do uh, like stuff to help them with their anxiety and stuff. You just need to manage your life, manage the stuff you do. Uh, you need to think about the future more, but not too much. Not not too much that uh, it'll make you overthink and it'll make you stay up all night and 
late you need to you need to sleep at least 8 hours like that'll help a lot if you if you're not getting your sleep that's going to make your body weaker that's going to make your mind weaker so consider sleeping more eat better and make sure you're doing all your work and study well yeah, yeah. you can't really tell someone to do something cuz Yeah. You're not going through the same thing as they are and you can't like tell them to do this and that, you know? You know you don't know what's going on with them. So it's kind of hard to tell if you don't know the situation. But really I yeah. think a root give someone having a routine can really help them it, for their motivation or just it can really help them. For the people who were in here, what is this project about? Yeah, can you repeat the, what the yeah, project was about? Yeah, of course. I can really, I can repeat the project. So, uh, the project uh, is a, it's a secondary four uh, project of Surpagop, uh, where we were trying to raise awareness about mental health. Um, we want mostly for our school. Uh, we're trying to um, help our help uh, the students to. uplift like the energy we we have at school like you know you know someone else can talk about it because i really talk yeah. <laughs> Monet, so basically I'll talk, yeah, I'll yeah. Talk, yeah. Okay. I'll, talk, i'll talk about the lives so basically um the project has like different parts so uh as we talked uh, as we said uh there are like the escape rooms the games the shows everything and we also have like lives every day for this whole week um basically from 8 to 9 every day you can join our Instagram live and we're going to talk about like different topics that are related to mental health and we're going to have like a special guest every night who's going to help us like we're going to have conversations discussions um like about uh let's say uh, um anxiety or motivation um so yeah we're just we're trying we're going to try to help you guys um especially like during the pandemic and everything um we want to like try to help um as much as we can yeah yeah, yeah sure. the whole point of the project is to raise awareness and we're not trying to add stress to you guys yeah the whole yeah. the whole like escape room thing isn't to make you guys stress and think about uh stuff like uh how you're not good or you're good it's not to judge you people it's more of for you guys to make yourselves better and to concentrate on uh, improving yourselves and getting better in uh, stressful situations yeah yeah it's and always like don't forget it's always to have fun cuz like yeah exactly yeah yeah this year it's always been about like work you know and no one's motivated <laughs> to do it so it's yeah. basically just fun activities to you know make it make things funner so yeah more fun yes yes <laughs> more <fun. laughs> yeah also the lives are going to be like every week don't forget every day sorry every day of this uh, week yeah from so tomorrow, 8 to 8:30 tomorrow yes tomorrow it's going to be 8 to 8:30 again like today um with Jano Zambakchan i'm pretty sure uh, most of you know him um we're going to be talking about depression that's going to be the main topic for tomorrow um today there was no topic it's basically just introducing Explaining. to you guys the yeah. project in general so you guys can really know what we're doing um and yeah so make sure to join tomorrow too okay and yeah do you guys have other questions <laughs> if anyone has like actual good questions just yeah. put them in the comments we can answer anything Don't be shy. We'll try. I'm not going to gonna judge you or anything. Yeah. Jono has depression? I'm not sure. You could ask him yourself on the live. We don't don't ever say that again. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow it's going to be with uh Jono and then Wednesday we're going to do with Miss Alik Mugabian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh that's going to be Wednesday. From, yeah. yeah. Wednesday is the only day when where we're going to do from 8:30 to 9 instead of 8 to 8:30. Exactly. Um and then Thursday it's going to be um Miss Jessica. Yeah, Miss Jessica. What was the topic anxiety? anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and you didn't say the topic with um Miss Why did Alik. Miss Alik. Oh yeah, she's going to talk about um 
like uh, relationships, friendships, yeah. toxic friendships and relationships. Yeah, it's and actually I'm... a common like issue for issue. teenagers. Honestly, guys, why did you choose escape rooms, Kiona or Anto? You want to answer that? Uh, Kiona, go. Thank you. Oh, first, um, I think the only reason I'm pretty sure that we chose escape room is because we all love escape rooms. Well, in my opinion. And um, I feel like um, working together is a really big, important thing that we should do right now is because in the pandemic, we don't really socialize anymore with other people because we don't have the time or we don't even have the liberty to do it. Yeah. So uh, the freedom, sorry. <laughs> so um, I feel like escape rooms was like a good idea to just give a positive impact to everyone that is going yeah, to do the same exactly yeah that's the whole point we're just trying to like make things fun yeah because yeah. nothing's fun lately <laughs> yeah so, and yeah. plus imagine like a mental health thing and you have to listen all the time even if you if you're affected by it still it takes like when you're sitting on a chair six hours per day, you're not going to get on Instagram live to listen to uh, uh, mental health stuff. And the escape room is really uh, a fun way uh, to like, not advertise, but like uh, show people mental health is actually like a serious thing and needs to be confronted. Yeah. We didn't even I think we have a question in the comments. Would anyone like to answer the question in the comments? First one. Anto, you wanna? Why? <laughs> you have something nice? <laughs> I'm kidding. For the toxic the relationships, relationship the topic, you guys should make students do icebreakers so they could establish more confidence. That's smart, yeah. Thank you. It's a that. good idea. Yeah. What do you think about the soup? Um, I I think that's off topic, Harag. <laughs> I think. I think. Harag, if you if you would like to know more about that, there's something called Google. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna talk about we we're not trying to make things like a serious. It's yeah, it is. It's a very serious topic. It is. We know. But it's like, it's the same thing I was talking about bullying, you know, every year teachers talk about bullying. Everyone's like, okay, we know about this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, we know, but it's important to remind and we're going to try to make it like more interesting, you know? Yeah. 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 We don't want it to be like speeches. It's going to be more of a discussion, more questions. We really want to answer, you know? Yeah. And we want to interact with you guys as well. Like, even though we're doing yeah. well, or we don't see you in person, like, it doesn't mean anything. Like, exactly. you could still talk with us, for sure. Yeah. yeah, you guys can DM us if you have any questions. If you don't yeah. want to, you know, write it on the live, you can DM us. We're, we're maybe we're going to put stories to, like, questions. You guys can ask us, and we can answer on the lives yeah. as well. So, yeah. If you have any like specific questions about a certain topic uh, related yeah. to mental health, you can like DM one of us and yeah, exactly. we could just like talk about it during the live. Yeah, yeah. if you guys yeah. also have other topics we didn't mention, yeah. uh, you guys can also suggest them and we can pass by, like talk about it. So mm -hmm. feel free. We don't know everything, but like we'll try our best to yeah, answer you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We just want to be here for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Autumn, your bunnies gave birth. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've talked enough for today. Um, I hope you guys really um, understood the project because, um, you know, it's, it's important. Um, you guys can't follow an account without knowing what it's 
what it is about, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the live. Make sure to come tomorrow too at 8 o'clock p.m. Um, and yeah. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks Bye. for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye.